beginning of time, actually not really, around the time when jawless fish were swimming in the ocean. And around that time, <clears throat> there, were, there was a transposable element or mobile element that hops around from genome to genome. And mobile elements have, are, are like retroviruses, they have <coughs> sequences at their ends that allow them to jump around. And so here's a mobile element. And it's got two, uh, two sequences at the end. They're not quite the same, but they're very similar. And one is in red and one is in blue. And what they do is they surround uh, two genes. And those two genes are now known as RAG1 and RAG2. And I'll abbreviate it this way. And RAG1 ra and RAG2, <coughs> now called the recombination activating genes, were really um, an integrase for the mobile element that allowed the mobile element to integrate and hop out of genomes. So I'm going to draw you the genome of this ancient jawed fish. And here is the genome, or a little segment of the genome, the place where the mobile element is destined to hop in. And here is an ancient gene that's going to turn out to be the immunoglobulin gene. So this is the ancient immunoglobulin gene. And this mobile element is going to hop into this gene, just so. And as a result of hopping in at that location, the mobile element will split the immunoglobulin gene into two pieces. So now I'm going to show you the mobile element as it appears. Here's the mobile element. And here's the other side of it. And it's hopped in to that location there. And And so the ancient immunoglobulin gene has now been split into two pieces. And here are the two pieces. All right. And uh, it could hop in a second time. And uh, we'll draw in the mobile element hopping in the second time. Imagine that the same mobile element uh, is now reversed, so the red and blue, it's turned upside down. Well, I'll just turn it upside down for you. Here it is, and turn backwards, because it's going to happen to hop in to this ancient immunoglobulin gene. Just happens to be right next door. This will be the second hopping event. <clears throat> and what you end up with is two mobile elements in the genome, very close together. So there's one mobile element. And here is the other mobile element. And it's really the same mobile element that's happened to two locations. And it's in the genome. All right. And it's ended up splitting the immunoglobulin gene now into three pieces. And <clears throat> these three pieces are now known as the ancient V region, ancient D region, and ancient J region of the immunoglobulin heavy chain. <clears throat> and now imagine that this mobile element, so, so we've got three steps now, st starting with the ancient immunoglobulin gene, the ancient gene split into two different pieces, so here's, so we, we split the ancient immunoglobulin gene into two pieces, and then with a second insertion of a mobile element, uh, split it into three pieces. And now we have the genes split into three pieces. And then the next step is each of these little pieces could undergo a gene duplication. So for example, the V region here could end up getting copied multiple times so that you would have multiple V regions, and you'd have multiple D and multiple J's. I'll just draw what multiple V regions would look like. You would have the following. And then there would be a little V piece here. 
And then since it's duplicated, uh, actually, let me make this a neat diagram. So here's another mobile element, uh, another V segment, and here's another V segment. And uh, let me fill in the details. So um, there's a V region. There's another V region there. And there's another V region there. So, so what we have is, we have this V region being duplicated into three regions. So let's call them V1, V2, and V3. And uh, they arose from the original primordial V region via process called gene duplication. And the same thing, this could happen 500 times for V regions and a dozen times or, or four times and a dozen times for the J region and so on. So you end up with uh, the current, the modern immunoglobulin heavy chain gene. So that's what this is, With after the gene duplications. So that's where it all got started. 